you were recording already? Yeah. Are we so recording? 26? 26, 24. 26? We're, we're going to figure <laughs> it out. Yo, what's happening? It's hot from the Out East podcast. What number is this? I think it's number 26. 20, 26? Why are you seeing shots? I believe. Guys, I'm proud of ourselves. I never know. I always have to ask that. We have a lot of cut up too. Like 29, 30 in real life, but who knows? Type shit. Like, yeah, yeah, deep down inside, we really got like 30, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it a was few rough in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough in the beginning, but we got everything cool. This is hot from the Out East episode. Uh, yeah, Out East episode. <laughs> from the Out East podcast, it's episode 26. We're doing an internal pod today. We haven't done one of these in a while, boys. Nah. It's been a minute since we had like just us. We're always like having other people. Having to think about what to talk about with people and all this other stuff and press for topics. Press for topics. <clears throat> uh, and we don't never really get to just sit down and chop it up as men. I know you got about, a couple stories. You. I appreciate that. You saw me. I was about to like wipe the shit on my pants. Like, I was gonna let you do like that. Let that happen. I said I'm gonna let you do that. Thank you. I'm not an animal. I'm better than that. But I didn't <laughs> think we had napkins. But thank you. I appreciate that deal. So I'm again. I'm your host. Hot. We got Marco here. Dill in the building. We got a few great men and ladies here as well. Is that a Verizon staff shirt? You know what's funny? That's kind of fire in a sense. Not, the funny thing is, I wasn't open up and say like, I'm sorry, I'm the not a fresh. The 5G joint. I'm like, I'm not as <laughs> We're fresh. We're launching 5G this week. I can't even cook right now. Go I'm ahead. Like, I'm not even as fresh as Marco and Hot right now, but yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, okay so that. actually, Loki, I'm, uh, wearing, I'm wearing this shirt right now because I have ooh, two other racing wait, shirts and I want to buy another one for Japan. And she said that I can't buy it until I wear my other racing shirts. So I just forced myself to wear this shirt today. Wait, you, the, you let your woman tell you what you can and can't purchase? No, it's for me to make a future purchase. So, Did you get the Flintstone shirt? No, I'm I'm really pressed for the Jurassic Park Jeff Gordon one. Oh. That shit's so fire to me. It's I brand. just say I only say that to say like how big of a change I see in you. That's yeah, amazing. no, it's all growth for sure. That's growth. And then in 48 days, I'm going to fucking Japan. So... Can Life bring, changing. Can you bring me back some um anime like a manga? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm gonna go to that place for you. That 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 Studio Ghibli with the Heron boy. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll be fire. I, feel, I don't know. I want something too. I don't know what I I'm want. I'm bringing back like, everyone something. <coughs> Saki. You can't bring back Saki. Can you? I don't think you bring alcohol. Can you? you can't can't I don't know honestly. My mom be like trying to like. I don't know what I want. She like fear, fear like, mongers me. She's like, like oh, you can't bring this back. They're gonna arrest you. They're gonna confiscate it. And I'm like, it's not that serious. Like I don't think they care that much, you know, but. We'll find out. I've never left the country before, besides Mexico and Bahamas, but that doesn't really count. I don't have to go too far for Japanese noodles, though, because our sponsors, Pop and Snacks, have them right here in the fucking store. Uh, product place. If you ever need <clears throat> some of the most fire designer, <laughs> um, designer exotic snacks. snacks in the mm. building, you know what I'm saying? If I ever need some fucking, Ooh. some incredible Japanese one. Oh nice catch, that's fire. If I never need some incredible foreign, mm. uh, and I think he's a Japanese. These may be Taiwan. Yeah, 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 something like Ta- that. Taiwan. I mean, these are definitely from out there. We got noodles. We got candy. We got s- drinks. I'm drink- I'm sipping on a... This is definitely uh, <laughs> from Thailand, right? Yeah, I think it's Thailand. It's definitely from Thailand, like a Thailand a Red Bull. Red Bull. It's not amazing, but it's minty. Um, if you ever need some amazing snacks, they're right here on uh, South Orange. But yeah. 4119 South Orange Blossom Trail. And um, you have... What, what's that right there? Hot? What is this? Oh, yeah. This is my flavor vaporizer. You didn't know? I know. Yeah, well, now you know. This flavor Vaporizers, this episode is also sponsored by Flavor Vaporizers. If you need a good vape, this is the last good one. And I am smoking on the Babel Apple flavor. Can I hit it? No. You can't yes. hit my vape. <laughs> I was waiting no, for it. No, you can't hit my vape. No, you can't hit my vape. Uh, but yeah, if you need some vapes and shit, tap in with them too, man. These are some of the greatest vapes. I want to rant. Even though Marco didn't just blow out uh, one, but yeah. It's fuming, but... um. Fucking, I want to know about the uh, uh, Kanye West Travis <laughs> oh, yeah, Scott. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's what I want to know about. I got y'all. And by the way, um, I'm a little under the weather. This um, this exotic uh, this Red exotic Bull. Red Bull that I'm drinking from Poppin Stacks on Orange Blossom Trail, um, it has halls in it, so it's I'm helping it. It's helping me with my coughing and shit like that. But yeah, so just a disclaimer. Uh, but yeah, you want to know about the concert? What do you want to know? I need you to brag about it. Like, I need you, what happened, bro? It was the most incredible I want to know, like, like, my life. like, the long story, though, because you told us about to it. God. You like it was life changing. At least 12 hours before I swear it got, to God. like, really I announced. Swear to God. Now, y'all know, y'all know me. To know me is to know that I go to concerts. I do this concert shit. I go to a lot of concerts for free. 
I just that's my thing. I like to go to concerts. Experience. And experience. You dive in the crowd. I yeah, dive in the crowd. I mean, <laughs> I'm too old for that now. Yeah. I'm too old for that now. I'm not diving in the crowd. I've done that, but now nah, I'm not doing it anymore. But I travel for concerts. I go to like different cities or whatever. I love to go to concerts. Long story short, I've probably been to over easily like 67 concerts. And that was easily top three. For real? Easily top three. I'm I'm scared to just say the best one because I would probably I, I would have to dig deep in the archives, but for all intents and purposes, that was the best concert I've ever been to. Cause I seen Ye when when he was in Tampa back in 2016 when he was on his rant like Jay, I know you got shooters. Oh okay. I know you got shooters. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. and, and I've I, seen Ye before. Yeah, I seen him at the uh, Yeezus concert. I like, saw it was like, cool, but I feel like that was like a <laughs> surprise concert essentially. I think like folks knew like. That day, like the day of. How did you know how? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, how the real story right, is. Right. So here's the story. Okay, so a buddy of mine, a buddy of mine, he uh, shot a great, shot a great flame. No, not five minutes. Okay, that's fine. I'm saying so. Shot like, a five minutes too though. But great little flame, he's a DJ here in Orlando. He hit me up and told me that I really hope. Okay, I can't say any names specifically because people have been fired because yeah of uh, releasing the Kanye information. So. When Kanye came to Orlando, he came to Orlando. He came to like MCO, mm -hmm. and then he came and did a he came and did like sound check mm -hmm. at uh, Amway. Mm -hmm. One of the people that worked at Fired Amway, immediately. one of the people at Amway, like they were in one of the suites, like cleaning or doing whatever, they like preparing the suite or whatever, and they took a video of him recording. Immediately were fired, and they mm -hmm. uploaded it on TikTok. Immediately fired. Mm -hmm. oh, so it's a big deal. A lot of NDA kind so of. So I don't want to say who told me what and how I know what. Okay, I don't. I can't say that just because I don't want to get no. You were fired. very, very, very early though. Like yes. at least 12, 14 so hours, four early. hours before. Yeah, like two yeah. days before the concert, I knew that Ye was gonna be at the concert. Yeah. So I get a. So my boy, uh, Grape La Flame, he is the person that invited me to the concert. One of his friends were working on the show, mm -hmm. and so he's like, "Yo, we got a bunch of tickets for you guys. Like, we got." He ended up giving us about like eighteen tickets. Bro. Was his wife there or no? I didn't. See, I didn't see her. Okay. But I was just like, you know, what I'm saying. In the videos, right? I feel like it was just like him and T. White all the time. I'm sure she was there, maybe like in the background, or like maybe in the back mm -hmm. somewhere. She wasn't on that amazing grandeur stage. No, but I thought like like the MCO video, I didn't see her, so I was kind of like, mm, is he traveling with or without her? You know. But we got a. I got a text saying like, yo, we got a bunch of tickets. If you want to come to the concert? So I'm like, hell yeah, of course, I'm down. I was like, yeah, we're gonna be VIP. We're gonna be lit. All right, cool. So. The day of the concert come, we all meet up, we go to the concert, uh, we all get in through like the little side entrance, super cool little entrance and shit. And uh, we got there. There were some kids sitting on our row. Already <laughs> when we got there. This was the coolest shit I ever said though. Bro, I was like, bro, there was kids sitting on our row. And so we're deep, like walking down and shit, like we're deep walking to our seats. And I'm like the first one there. And I'm like, yo, y'all gotta get up. And like, nah, I think these are our seats. I'm like, bro, there's no way these are our seats. We got the whole row. This is like the coolest shit I ever seen. <laughs> we got the whole row. Yeah, like, we got the whole row. <laughs> <laughs> so we sit down. So cool, kids got it. We got we sat on our seats. But yeah, I yeah, that's how I knew that uh, Ye was gonna be there. Um, I actually made a bet with somebody in line because he was like, I know there's gonna be a special guest. I, I think it's gonna be Drake. Mad people thought it was Drake. I made a bet like a five dollar bet with somebody in line. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's gonna be Kanye. Kids sent me the five. Shout out to him too. Shout catch up to five. I cheated, by the way. But um, now you know. <laughs> and now you know. Uh, but that was an incredible experience. Bro, like, Ye played everything. The reason why it was so dope is, like, it was like a, it felt like a moment. I've seen him before. Like I said, I've seen him at... Um, St. Pablo? No, I saw him at... X had a memorial concert um, oh, in Miami. Wynwood. Yeah, in Wynwood. And I all. saw him perform there. i seen that. I was there. That's but, crazy. um... This was a moment in time. Like, this is such a moment in time. He came out to run away. He had on, like, this crazy the mask. The Jason mask. That was he, so much. Every step he took was, like, to the beat. He stepped, like, his final step was, like, just, I'm here, bitch. Mm -hmm. Like, That's it was crazy. just incredible, dog. And he just ran through, like, song after song. Uh, Ty Dolla Sign had came out. Bump J had came out, too. Oh, they played on Vultures. That shit yeah, they crazy. ran a couple of joints on Vultures. Plus, they announced that Vultures was dropping on February 9th, Ooh. which is in a couple days from now. Gotta drop it. So Vulture's about to drop here in a couple nights. Too. Yeah, next Friday. Because Super Bowl's on Sunday. Yeah, and then on top of that, and on top of that, the experience in the room was like going to Disney World and like being an avatar. That's crazy. That's how that's the only way I can explain it. Damn. Like, do you know like when you're like on one of those rides and like the whole ambiance, the mood, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you can feel um the like goosebumps, the moisture. The vibration. You can Absolutely. feel like the moisture in the air. Yeah. Like 
everything about that entire experience. You want to snapshot that incredible. feeling? Damn. The the stage setup and everything was so dope. They had like this floating head that like they put Travis Scott caught up like five fans on. Just go up on the head, mm. and then like it's just floating around the stadium. I got fans on there just turned up on the head. <laughs> like, it was crazy, but um, the experience was incredibly ten out of ten. I did it for free, so I would probably say Even better. Yeah, that's- I don't speak this highly about concerts, which is why I would say it's probably like one of my favorite concerts I've ever been to, and I've been to a lot. So probably my fave. <coughs> you going to Pro Bowl on Sunday, or say it again? You going to Pro Bowl? It's in Orlando. I'm not going to Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl to me is super boring. <laughs> I've done Pro Bowl twice. Have you really? Yeah. I feel like I it's, a, it's, it's here like, every year. It's here every year. It's in and Hawaii I, for like fucking decades. That's right. That's right. And it wasn't Hawaii. I don't know Hawaii why they moved to Orlando, but they mm-hmm. they was in Hawaii Maybe for a while. Then they moved it to Orlando. And the past, I've been there in the past two years. It's super incredibly boring to me. Because it's like they got a lot of all stars there that aren't gonna rest their cell getting. It's like right. the all star yeah, game. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like the all star game. Like you yeah. know the all star game, how it's like nobody guards each other, nobody yeah. does it. It's mm-hmm. the same thing. It's like just very. It, it's that very much controlled. slower, and it's like football. The Parson brothers are like with like the Dig brothers like guarded each other last year. The fuck? Like, that. like it's just like a, it's, it's for like for fun. Would you watch? Would, would you watch a golf in person? No, fuck no. <laughs> are you kidding me? I would. I wouldn't watch it on TV. <laughs> Absolutely not. Why not? It's just it's so slow paced. It's just very. If you're into, and then you like you gotta sure. follow them the whole time too, right? I don't know shit about golf though either. It's kind of like I feel like I'm gonna go to Orlando City game. I've never been. I heard people get soccer's out. cool. I get tickets for those all the time, and I've never been. Really? Because the seats that I get are always suck. Like they always suck. I heard just the vibe is just crazy. Like people are insane. Hockey, Me basketball, football. I feel like the only. I wanted to go to the one where uh, Messi played in it. You're that'd remember, be you know crazy. What I'm about? No, that'd, that'd be. Oh, Messi was like on some team, and like he was he wasn't Messi on there. Was like, Miami. Yeah, it was like another team. Like Messi was. Yeah, I wanted to go to that one, but he signed with the Miami whatever. Yeah, Miami. The only crazy thing when I was at FIU on um, Brazil, they were actually practicing at our That's cool. um, so soccer Neymar field. Yeah, yeah, I seen Neymar. He's pretty cool. Kind of short, but you know, yeah. doing his thing. They're all speaking small. of Ye, how y'all feel about like Ye's uh, wife? Um, like not his wife, but how do y'all feel about? Obviously not. How do y'all feel about his wife? That's a weird. Question. <laughs> I think she's ugly as fuck. Actually, that's fucked. I'm sorry. There's a thousand I, of I hers and only one of yeah. Ye. He found a clone. I feel like he just found someone to like manipulate. Honestly, I think she's a pretty girl, bro. You don't she's think she has any free fuck. will? We're like 15, 20 year difference. You she's don't think she has young. any free will? Um, I think that he. She's very, very young and very. That wasn't even gonna be the question that I she's asked y'all. You guys are like going off on. a She tangent. has zero sense of like. She don't have an identity. Her her job before Ye was working for Yeezy. So like you got married by your boss. It seems that like is that is, was he grooming her? Yeah. What happened with Kim? She, 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 she's like she's like twenty two years Didn't old. Didn't that happen with Kim? And then yeah, absolutely. That's how he meets his Kanye's boss. like that though. I think gotta Kanye, work for me, baby. Amber Rose, like, that's, like, like what he does. You gotta be on the payroll first. Yeah. I was gonna ask you how y'all felt about the TMZ president running up in. His face I think like that it's very. So I think like with like paparazzi laws, it's very invading of someone's privacy. Would so you I ever work? Like, would you ever work for paparazzi? I would never want. No, absolutely not. But you I, 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 work for TMZ? No, Fuck no. No, it's, it's very invading someone's privacy. And I feel like, but also, okay, so I've got a little rant here. I feel like the whole like selling your soul thing, at bare oh minimum, God. when you sell your soul, is you're selling your peace of mind. Story time. The paparazzi laws in LA are so like lax. They're allowed to hang out on your driveway, bro. You have no privacy. So that you're selling at minimum your peace of mind. And like, that's what you sign up for when you're a celebrity. And your butt. What? <laughs> if you're, yeah, if you're involved in like the hip hop community, like Diddy and whatnot, yeah, absolutely. But like, I think even too with like actors and whatnot, and like how all that shit goes really deep, like Hollywood in general is just very Hollywood. weird to me, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Do you do you like watching the uh, Met Gala like fashion show? I've never really like I, honestly. I've like, never watched the whole thing. <laughs> I've really like, watched people like, like, like drip on. <laughs> like, I watch people like drip on the red carpet. It's cool. And then I think that's. End. I think yeah. that's it. I don't know what happens inside. Nobody knows. It's I like a big like charity event like. <laughs> Eyes wide shut type shit. I've been yeah, in New no. York. I've been in New York while that was going on, and it's like a big thing in Manhattan while all that's going on. Uh, but, really? Yeah, I mean, but that's about it. I just see, I've seen people like on the red carpet just drip on the red carpet. Yeah. That's all I know. It's cool to see some of the looks, for sure. Because like they get into, you know, the, all the characters and whatnot, because it's set the whole theme for every year. It's, it's cool to see like afterwards the photos and whatnot, mm-hmm. but like, I don't really, I guess, per se, understand it. You know, I guess it's the cool, it's like Halloween for celebrities, essentially. Which, which I've been watching lately. Griselda when did right you now. get gray hairs in your beard? Oh, bro, I love it so much, bro. Since I was in high school, I've wanted salt. When pepper. did you get that? Heavy, heavy. Probably like last week. Like last you year. Know what, you, what you know? You know nah, what you got to start doing? You been had gray hairs Going in your dip. beard? Mm-hmm. Taking dip. Nah, chill. <laughs> I'm, off, I'm off tobacco. No, <laughs> it was a, it was I, a joke. I, I didn't want to smoke cigarettes at all. <laughs> I'm on the vape life, bro. 
Cam, does he dip? No. <laughs> right. Cam was like, That's like some no. Palaka shit, though, for real. What's Palaka? Palaka is where she's from. It's a small ass town. With, is it? With the oldest diner in the entire state of Florida. Oh, that's in Florida? Mm hmm. Palaka. All whites, Florida. huh? Oh, yeah. All for whites. Sure. Now, I met two of your, your family's black friends. Pretty, like, pretty much. Two yeah. of them. There was two you, got that that black, you have black friends at Palaka? Her parents have black friends. That's two black up. friends. They put it to the, po the party. Have you ever been to Pahokee in West Palm Beach? Nah, what's that? Like <laughs> it's a little small it's town? It's called Muck City for a reason. Muck City? <laughs> <laughs> what does that stand for? What does that mean? What does Muck stand for? It's like... What it sounds like. <sighs> well, yeah, what it sounds like. Dirty, gritty, like, ghetto farm. Like. Oh, no, no, no. They're just country out there. It's not, it's not ghetto, though. It's just country. It's like, you know, people just, like... They own, like... 80 guns a person, like, that's just what they're into, you know? God, I, guns, and glory. What have you guys been doing since the last time I see you? Mm. But you know my life is just work. Studying, moving my body. I've been really born. What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Tech. This is like, Have uh, you moved your body today? I did not. I, I rest on the weekends. Oh. Marco, one second. Don't let him, don't distract him on this question because we need to know this, and nobody knows. Okay. I'm going to give Dill the floor to explain to us what he does for a living. Because I think if you've ever seen Martin... Yeah. There's like this nigga named Tommy. I freaking cry. That don't that don't work, but swears he got a job. Martin. But he's never broke though. Like Tommy was never broke. He was never like a broke ass nigga. Oh, like, Tommy, Tommy. Yeah, Dill's definitely not broke. Every no, time no, we no. go somewhere, Dill's is able to. Dill's never been like, oh, I can't afford to. Like I've never seen Dill not afford anything. No, yeah. <laughs> Dill wears. But I don't think Dill has a job. <laughs> at the same time, though, I also don't think that he has like a trust fund or anything like that either. No, 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 no. But I don't know. I don't get it. Talk to us. Selling mushroom bars. That was your you little hustle that for a little on bit. A, you said that on a camera? That was your little hustle for a little bit. Wow. You was moving them. Incriminating yourself. You, you, nah, mushrooms yeah. are very lax. I feel like it's not selling fucking heroin. Way like, to go, like, buddy. He's not selling fentanyl. It's mushrooms. I think that's widely accepted. A little Salesforce stuff, a little tech stuff. Not obviously. by the feds. But, uh... <laughs> <coughs> not by the feds. Not by the feds, but... Uh, and stop recording. All right, we gotcha. This is your chance. Go ahead. This is your chance to shine. Talk to us. What, you mean? what have you been doing since the last time that we saw you? I'm I'm just, bro, just a lot of boring tech shit, bro. Like, I'm not even really trying to geek out. Like, coding, le learning Linux, cloud, web servers, like, that type of shit. I'm really not trying to get into it. Because it's like, people don't give a fuck about Can it. Can I just ask you what Linux is? Basically, it's an operating system. It's an open source operating system. So, like, if you think of, like, Windows, Mac, et cetera, underneath the board, it's a Linux operating system. So, so being a Linux system admin, Somebody could create users, users, excuse me, um, permission sets, mounting hard disk, um, creating file systems. All right, we got it. We Is got it crypto? It. Like, <laughs> we got it. I should have never asked. <laughs> he said I should have asked. Crypto. <laughs> crypto. Oh, oh shit, gentlemen. coining with Marco and Germs. Shout out Germs. Bro, Germs. Shout out Germs. Germs not here. Germs is the crypto guy Germs should have sure. Germs is definitely a wizard. He could turn a... Uh, uh, Why isn't Germs here? He's at his mom's surprise mom's birthday, birthday party. party right now. Happy birthday, Germs mom. Shout out to Germs mom. His brother flew in from Seattle, actually. Surprise. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's, That's fire. His, his brother kicked up, though. My brother actually recently just got out of prison. Oh, that was real? cool. How's he doing? It was like a surprise thing, too, for my family. How many years was he in? Um, I can't tell you what he did, but he was in prison. He was in prison for like some years, like ten years type shit. So like is it a big a big adjustment coming in? Yeah. He was like in for prison sure. for like ten years and then like on Thanksgiving. He just like we were all like eating Thanksgiving food. No like, way! Me, he pulled up. Me, my mom, my sisters, my other brothers, and shit like that. My daughter was there. A bunch of people, and so your parents cried for sure. Bro, this man just walks, opens the door. <laughs> oh, when you like open the door, when you open the door in my parents' house, it's like a big ring. Like you can hear it, like ding, ding, ding. like ding ding ding. Like yeah, when it yeah. opens, so the door opens, everybody turns and looks because we're all here. The <laughs> family's all here. No way! That's and so cool. Like, and he's like, he's just busting, like starts walking mad fast. He's like, I know y'all not finna start eating without me. Bro, that's, a, that's like a fucking movie. My mom starts screaming. My dad's yeah. like, what the fuck? Da, 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 da. It was crazy. But Wait, yeah. so like, did you know about it before he came? No. It was a big surprise. To everybody, nobody in my family knew. That's so cool. Him and my dad talked the most. Like, they talked literally every single day. Yeah. And so he wow. just came home, and that was crazy. A little bit different, but I've been watching the show, uh, is it Love After Lockup or Lo Love During Lockup, where like these, these, these prisoners date folks that are on the <laughs> outside. And to me, it's, 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 it's reality TV, but it's so fascinating to me that these prisoners are such good salespeople that like, I mean, I, 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 I can't grasp the concept of like, you're so down in life that you'd resort to like, I'm gonna meet, I'm gonna write someone in prison, start dating them, and oftentimes they, they're engaged or married while they're in prison. They fuck on the CEOs and the security. No, 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 the, 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 like regular civilians. He's saying, he's saying like they're pen pals. 
They're pen pals and they get married, bro. And it's oh like, I but at that point, you don't have to be a salesman if you're that desperate to already like. They're be a so pen pal. desperate, bro. There's a guy on there that he signed or he paid for this girl's fifty thousand dollar bond. Right? Has paid fifty thousand dollars in commissary and phone calls. She gets out. And she leaves him and steals his car. So like he's in the hole, a hundred grand plus the car. Oh my god! And it's like, bro, like, <laughs> you stupid, bro. But to me, it's very fascinating though. It's just the how like, love, yeah, love. Yeah, I wish I wish they had Boondocks. TV show? Yeah, that was a great cartoon because they had like a lot of great like social commentary. I don't know if you remember like the Booty Warrior. Like, Did I like he? You. I want you. What's up with you today? They're like they're mirroring yeah. shit. It's like it's like the fucking. You go straight from the Boondocks to the Booty Warrior. <laughs> the Booty Warrior, <laughs> my favorite character on this show. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the Boondocks, but the Booty Warrior. I think like Riley or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we remember him. <laughs> now the reason I brought him up because you were talking about like pen pals in prison, and he kind of had one. So that's Did he? Yeah, but I can never watch the show. It's very interesting. It's on Wee TV. Do you think you could survive in prison? Fuck no, bro. You can, this is not for me at all, bro. I've been to jail three times. That shit is not fun. You want to get a swastika on your head? Fuck no. Are you kidding? You me? would be with the whites. <laughs> I feel like I didn't, I you would definitely. I don't speak have Spanish. To be with the white. I would have to with the whites, bro. That would suck. You would have to be with the whites, oh, and you have to be down. No, 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 that's do not the life I would shit. ever want to live, man. You already you're, tatted you're, the fuck you're, up. You're with me when I got arrested. Yeah, he'd be too, with so. the whites. No, bro, that's just not fun. Yo, Marco lost his fucking mind when we got arrested one time. What happened? I don't remember. It was my stepdad's. Okay, so my stepdad did 27 years in the military, and his after party of his retirement. He was acting so out. I decided character. to go act a fucking fool and get arrested at fucking City Walk and Universal. Why would you do? It's a long story, but I'm not gonna go into this. We was way. mobbing at City Walk. Yeah, it was like bro, it was me, crazy. Marco, and like Marco's whole family, and fucking. He DJed the after party. Oh yeah, and like we. And and I don't know why they wanted to arrest you. Cause I was making fun of the cop. I was, I was, <laughs> oh I, I, yeah! I, I literally got arrested for hurting the cop's feelings. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freedom of speech type shit. No, and then, oh course. my god, then Marco pull out that white from, car. We, we, oh we, my god, then Marco pull out the car. Bow. Bro, I bitch, white privilege. Them. What the fuck are you talking about? I can say whatever I want to you, fucking pig. And da, 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 it was. Going it was we, we walked from the the but Irish. Like, oh yeah. The Irish bar that, all the way down to the escalators, going to the to like to like the the trams or whatever, and then he rests me there, and then I jump off the escalator like two or three steps, and he jumps down too, and he like trip maneuvers me, maces me, and then arrests yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, bro. Dude had to like fucking sweep him, boom, sweat my yeah, really boom. Cool. It's like one fucking Tossed movement him, maced too. him, like all the time. He maced shit. me at the same exact time. And bro's That's defense, not fun. And bro's defense though, Marco was unhinged. Yeah, and I was wilding out. He's wilding the fuck out. So it was warranted. No, hurting a cop's feelings is not against the law. I won't say that his actions were warranted, but <laughs> at the point of you already being arrested, like you're already arrested. So if you're like unhinged at that point, we have to get control of you. So yeah. I won't say his arrest was warranted, yeah. but he was already arrested. So he's like unhinged at the point of being arrested. You know what I'm trying That's to say? Great. What year is that? Like 2015, 2016? It's been a long time, bro. It's come a long crazy. way. I heard a lot of Whole growth. 180. What would you say to that cop if you saw him today? I hate you. If you had to sit down, like, if he was sitting down, like, on the couch with us for an interview. How does it feel to make $30,000 a year still? <laughs> Yo, he was shitting on him. He was saying all that shit. Fun of him like he that, was saying right? all of that like, shit. You got bullied in high school, so you're a fucking cop now. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He was in yeah. his bag. It's a power thing. I, I feel a lot. majority of cops are like that. Either they were, like, the fucking frat boy in mm -hmm. high school. Frat superstar. I know a couple of and those. Then, yeah. And they want the power struggle, or they were bullied in high school, and you feel like you need, like, that power. That's how most cops are. Like, that's like what they, it's either one or the other, you know? Well, all right, back to back from <laughs> let's circle Orlando. Back here. Let's circle back from Orlando PD's <laughs> finest. Eh? It's a long time ago. What you got from sports picks, bro? Price picks. Cause hot gotta. I pulled all my bread out. <laughs> you know what, bro? I got fucking smoked. I seen it in your store. I kind of felt. I'm like, fuck. Nah, but like it was bad, bro. I had a six man parlay. Now I Five went. Five hit. I yeah, no four hit, but the two that didn't hit. Like, was Jimmy Butler for over 24? It was a demon. They are both demons. Okay. So if you know demons and goblins, I'm not going to explain it. But they were both demons. It was Jimmy Butler for over 24.5. Jimmy Butler had exactly 24 points. So he hit 25. The he entire the fucking fourth quarter, he went into the fourth quarter with 24 points. Oh, That's geez. crazy. The entire fourth quarter for 13 minutes, he ran around the court, passing the ball to everybody, had open shots. Uh, See, like that makes every time. feel that like Vegas is so involved in the sports. He got fouled. And when he got fouled, he missed both of his free throws. All I needed was one more fucking point for him. He missed that. Joseph Nurkic. Uh, Who the from, fuck is that? He's a center for uh, Phoenix. 
<coughs> I needed him for over 14 points. He got 14. I mean, 14.5. He got 14 on the dot. So that parlay would have paid me beats. out. Bad beats. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. It would have paid me out like 750, but hey. Woo! I guess it's the life we, the life we chose to live. Mm -hmm. But what do I got for prize picks this week for the Super Bowl? Yes. Do you just want to know who I just got winning, period? The Chiefs, Yo, talk obviously. to your shit. What you got? The Chiefs, obviously. I, I, I have two, two conspiracy theories for it, though. So the NFL signed these five-year agreements with Prize Picks, Caesars Palace, and FanDuel. FanDuel. Is it, is the Draft third Kings? one. I don't, I don't what is it? DraftKings. DraftKings. It's DraftKings. DraftKings. Prize Picks and um fucking that's Prize Picks. Yeah. Okay. And then Caesars. Right. It's a five-year deal. Billions of dollars. These NFL teams are worth a couple billion dollars. Right. So I think they're either overselling the Chiefs' narrative to have everybody bet on the Chiefs and the 49ers win. And these teams, NFL, and all these um, sports booking agents. So no matter what, let me just ask you this before you get into your conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. No matter what, win or lose or draw is a conspiracy. Yes, in my head, yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Who's even on the 40, 49ers? Huh? Who's even on the 49ers? Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, yeah. Fucking Brock um, Purdy, Kittle. Brock, George Kittle. Both of their fucking defensive yeah. ends are fucking studs. Mm -hmm. The one racist guy and then the one guy that played with him in college. Speaking of Kish, Christian McCaffrey... Bosa, yeah, both of the Bosa brothers. Beast, bro. He's um, solid. Christian McCaffrey, while I'm sitting here talking about like losing my bet by one point, <laughs> Christian McCaffrey won me my fucking parlay by a half a fucking yard last game. Thank you, Christian McCaffrey. I won two hundred and ninety dollars on a four pick parlay. I had Harrison Bucker, which is their kicker for Kansas City. I had him for less than one point five field goals. He won me. He won me that because he only scored one. Uh, Jared Goff, which was the quarterback for Dent for Detroit, and he had for over 36 passing attempts. He had 41. Nice. Lamar Jackson for under 10 and a half rushing attempts. Why would you bet that? I, I would have never thought that. I know you would have never bet that. But I, would I didn't, never bet that. I knew. I, I didn't know. I, now, look, I will say this. I thought 10, I thought 11 rushing attempts to that game was going to be a lot for Lamar Jackson. I thought that was. I just thought that that was a lie. So you know the Ravens, I didn't think that he was not going to run the ball as much as he did it. I didn't think that he was he, like it was going to be like that. So he threw the, himself a pass. The Ravens. That, well, that was crazy. That was not throwing a pass. It was deflected and I, he I, caught I, it. Okay, hey. but the Ravens have the number one rushing offense in the entire NFL this past year, right? And if you look at their rushing attempts the entire season, it's all well into <coughs> the high teens, twenties, and sometimes even thirties, right? They ran the ball, including Lamar, eight times that game. That's why you people are saying it's fucking rigged. Lamar, this game, he that game against the Lions, he only ran the ball eight times. I had him for less than 10 and a half. Yeah. So he cleared me. That's Christian crazy. McCaffrey, this is the reason why we're talking right now. Christian McCaffrey, I needed him for over 89.5 rushing yards. 90? Christian McCaffrey had 90 rushing yards. So by .5, if he tripped by just a half an inch or anything, just ran the ball out, I would have lost my whole fucking parlay. But it was the last run play of the game, and he ran me for like 30 yards and got me the 90 that I needed. Shout out to Kishan McCaffrey. Cash out. Shout out to Prize Picks too. Sponsor us. That's going to be the last time that we speak that in depth about Prize Picks, by the way, without y'all sponsoring us. So yeah, that's the last time we're going to mention Prize Picks. Yeah. Um, Long story short, though, if you ask, though, I, I probably, I'm probably going to take. I hold the right to reserve my, to, to change my answer to. I'm going to take the 49ers. See, I don't know, bro. I you just, believe my my theory now? I don't know, bro. It's too set up for for Kansas City to win. So much money is gonna be gone out of Vegas if Kansas City does win. So I don't know, bro. It's like 73, 70 something percent of the bets have been placed for Kansas City. Brock Purdy has been playing incredible this year, dog. I don't know. There's actually a bet in Canada right now. It's, a, it's available if that Travis Kelsey will propose at half at, at the end of the game. That he what? Which he proposed at the end of the game. Oh yeah, I saw that too. That's, That's a, is that an crazy. actual? Is that it's an actual, actual prop? It's in Canada right now. It's a prop. Yeah. That's an actual prop. I don't. I don't know the website. I wonder if it's on Hard Rock. I want to go to Canada. They got a bunch of little freaky props on Hard Rock yeah. too. How long's the national anthem? What color the gator is gonna be? No, for real. <laughs> What's the first song that fucking who's gonna perform? Usher's oh, gonna Usher? sing. He's gonna first song he'll sing. Oh, I'm excited up. for that. Usher, Usher, Usher. Usher. There Usher. You go. What would you do if Usher sung to Cam in front of you? What happened? Cam, you like Usher? She's too young for that shit, bro. No. Nah. -uh. What? That. That's a good story. Hey. You got it bad. That's like a throwback as fuck. That was Cam. when I was in middle school. Cam letting you know she got it bad. She got it bad. What would Usher. you do if what would you do if you guys were at the Usher concert? Broken. 
Heartbroken. And then Usher started to have it bad for Cam. And then pulls a chair up in the front of the main stage or yep. whatever. He's like, come here, baby girl. You sit up here right now with me. What would you do? Be heartbroken, bro. Are you kidding me? You You're would be viral. heartbroken? He's just performing. It's, a, it's an act, right? It's a show. And then she fucking DMs him like after the concert. Like, oh, man, I felt some type of way. It was a connection. I was just trying to sound Next thing you know, shit. I have no money. I give her alimony the rest of my life. Alimony? You guys are married? Damn near. Shit. Bro. We about to propose. Yeah, we're going to propose in Japan, apparently. I know somebody that did that. In Japan? Oh, I can't do it now. Never mind. Would you like that, Cam? You got to have your best fit on all the time in Japan. Where are you guys going? Four years. Uh, March 24th through the 10th. Nice. Damn, you guys are going on a fucking 16 trek. 16 days. 16 days. 16 days in Japan. It's fucking 19 hours to get there, though. Damn, off camera, Shit. I'm going to ask you how much was all that. You don't got to tell Don't say it on mic. Points. <laughs> Amex. Shout out Amex, bro. Hey. For real. What did you just go to recently? You huh? said you went to off camera. Oh, set. we went to fucking <coughs> Boca <coughs> in Winter Park. Okay, so okay, so like no lie though, I I, I don't want to say I got Prado and them mixed up, but I was thinking of a place in Winter Park, right? That wasn't the the Briar's Patch. Yeah. So I'm looking on Open Table, and I see Boca. I'm like, oh, it's probably that one. We pull up. I will give them credit though. The 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 waitress was like, oh, the the gnocchis is not on the lunch menu. But then we were like, oh, we can come out of town, blah, blah, blah. I'll ask the chef. The chef said, all right, we'll do it. I give it a solid six out of 10. It was not it. So um, it's not a home game? Not at all. Not a home game. At all. So that's the final ruling. It's not a home game. By the way, real quick, I know we're talking about home games and shit, but you remember we were talking about, it just goes into both the last two things we're talking about. We were talking about like, yay, and we were talking about uh, the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, remember how I told you how I knew that yay was going to come mm -hmm. before? Last Super Bowl, I forgot who it was that performed. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say it was Rihanna. Was it Rihanna that performed? It was performed? like the West Coast people, wasn't it? It was all West Coast No, people. not the very last one. It was the one before that. Shit. Oh, oh Be Beyonce? I thought, I thought all the West whoever Coast it was that performed, whoever it was that performed, I found out what their opening song was going to be, and there was a prop for that. <gasps> and I bet on that. And won. Oh, fire. How'd you so there that? are ways to find out. I don't know if yeah. they'll still let you do that, but there are ways to find. There's plenty of ways to find out little shit like that. Like and if you do, if I do find out, I'll let the boys know. Just Absolutely. like there's ways to like crash certain places, like. Crash? <laughs> yeah, you could party crash. Like you could party crash Rolling Loud. You could party crash Super Bowl. You could party crash the Grammys. You could party crash a lot of different places. Damn. I see. I watch like YouTube videos day? of people that do that. I've done it. Out east, like yeah. go crash the I've fucking. Met. I want to do. Oh. I want to like crash a wedding so bad. Oh, it's so fucking epic, just to do it. I'm going to a wedding. And have like party. wild stories like how you know the bride and groom. Make up bullshit. Have you seen The Wedding Crashers, the movie? Yeah, absolutely. Favorite movie, like top, that's top 10. That whole era of movies, like like those, like Vince Vaughn, Ben Stiller. Oh my God. Like, like, that whole era of them. Thing. Will Ferrell. Like, Will that Ferrell's era, like hilarious. Yeah, Will Ferrell is a beautiful. Hilarious. Like, nights, like just like yeah. all that shit was like a great movie yeah. era. Like where we don't get movies like that no. anymore. You don't get real comedy. Too censored. Like yeah. I like home games, as far as home games, like good shit to eat. Um, you know what? I went to this restaurant recently that's inside of the Hilton Orlando, um, and I stay I I, I stay at a the bunch of Hiltons. Flamingos? No, it was this Mexican restaurant, and I can't forget the name. I've been trying to. That's why you see me on my phone. I've been trying to Google it this whole time, um, mm. and I can't think of the name. But it's out of this fucking world, one of the greatest Mexican restaurants I've ever. Todovos, I found it. What is it? It's called Todovos. It is inside of the Hilton Orlando. It is. Probably the best Mexican food that you will ever have in this yeah. city. It's not expensive either. Uh, check that out whenever you guys get a chance. It's inside the Hilton, though, so. I mean, it's not like you just, yeah. <laughs> it's you super know, fire. You know it's the, the, super fire. It's, worth, it's definitely worth mentioning on the you? podcast. The dopest spot I've been to recently, the Debonair Supper Club. was there for like a... How was that? Because we've been hearing so much about the It's Debonair. very like gaudy and over the top. Yeah. It's like... It's like a big presentation, but when you think of gaudy, like it's not like tacky or no cheesy it's not shit. Like poppy like, steak. Nah, nah, nah. It's like it's classy. The, yo, the DJ was hella fire. Like he had, he was in his duffel. Like he he his range from nineties to two thousands to like playing hot shit that's going on today, and it was just everything was just great. The drinks was cool. Honestly, bro, the food was mid. Nah, this because I had steak. I had steak. It was fire. I feel like usually places like that, like the food sucks. Yeah, usually places like that, it's, it's trash. But yeah. I was actually very, very surprised that it was good and I enjoyed myself. And I had the best espresso martini I've ever had. And I so what's it. the problem? They put, There's no problem. Oh, wait. I thought you were, I was waiting on the lead up of like, it was like, whatever. The martini. Oh, no, no, no. Did they put Parmesan cheese inside of it? The 
The espresso martini? Mm -hmm. Nah. Check it out. Do you guys know that everything that you put in your drink is supposed to be edible? That like the a bartender the puts in your drink like is that? supposed to be edible? Yeah. It's supposed to be. If that's a real bar. So from what I've heard from like multiple bartenders. Everything that they put in your drink, you should you should be able to eat. But what I look like eating like with American laws, I feel like everything is damn near edible, bro. Yeah, but then like they'll put like weird shit in your drink, like bark and like a fucking mm -hmm. and like an old fashioned Coffee or some shit. Or shit like yeah. That. I'm not eating that shit. But you're supposed to be able to. Yeah, Do you eat garnishes? No. Not written no. though. <laughs> I don't even eat, like cherries or anything like that, bro. Nah, yeah, I'm nah. not even. Mm -mm. Not even on that. It's a presentation. Yeah, that's not a presentation for me. You been anywhere good, like food wise? No, that's Boca just it. killed it for you, huh? Shut up, Marco. Tory, Tory for like the Every week, time. like, bro, I feel like you're like at a restaurant, like showing you and Cam off. Look at us. <laughs> Look at Where us. Where we go? Oh, Look at bro. our drinks and We food. went to Angels in Palaka. I know it's kind of far. I'm sure we got some few, a few viewers from Palaka. Uh, went to Angels, it's the oldest diner in the state of Florida. Opened in like 1936. <laughs> It's something like that. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, older than my grandma. 92 Rest years soul. old. 92 years old. Yeah, old as fuck. I had a thing called a, uh, what's it called? Oh, man. It's like a platypus or something like that. <laughs> Perry the platypus. Uh, a pupusa or something like that. It's like oh, you basically. Oh, pupusa. Something like that. You never bro. had a pupusa? No, no, no. It's a drink, right? No, it's like a bread and Oh, uh, like no, it's not, it's not that. It's not the, the Honduran food. Um, it's not Honduran. It's like a... Fuck, I forgot what country people make. It's basically a yoohoo, but it's fire. I used to fuck with a girl who's like, who was super Ecuadorian, fucking obsessed with those. Honduran or something oh my like God, that. God, bro. I've eaten like a billion pupusas, bro. A pasulo. Pasulo. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty fucking fire. What's that? What's in that, Kim? It's a it's a glorified yoohoo, basically. Yeah. But, like okay. made with like real chocolate syrup, real vanilla extract. Like it was like it's mm. it's like a it's like a real drink. Like they made from scratch. It's not like they just poured out of a bottle, you know, or like in a the, <gasps> the um they don't pour it like in a uh, a fountain thing like that. It was really good. Um and um yeah, it was a decent When burger. all else fails. <laughs> when all else drama. When all else fails, right, Ted? Is there anything new like dealing with that? If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Ted's in the background like telling, giving us fucking topics and shit. <laughs> I'm not talking about Tori and Meg. Is really like, like Nikki? And all I'm that? F through with them. Yeah, I'm through with them too. That's Nikki, uh, Nikki, and uh, but Lada pulled up on uh, Lada. That's pulled up also on women's business. Block too. This oh, is what I, I will say I though. I heard beef. <laughs> supposedly, supposedly. This is what I will say though, because that's women's business. So I have no business even talking about Facts. it. But this is what I will say. What I will say is, Nikki, you are a bold motherfucker for talking about anybody, knowing damn well that your husband got all them assault charges and can't go pick up y'all kids. <laughs> That's wild. You can't be within a thousand feet from a school yeah, yeah. or a park. That's crazy. You are very bold for that. I don't know the ins and outs of the beef. Yeah. It ain't my business. That's women business. But I will say... I do find Nikki to be pretty bold to say anything about any. She's a goat too, in her own realm. But you know your husband can't. You know you know what they gonna say about your husband. <laughs> you think she does it to like stay relevant? I don't know. She's the queen, bro. She's Everybody the queen. knows she's the but queen. But like she hasn't been really been like. She was not feeling Bigfoot, huh? Huh? She was not feeling Bigfoot. Did you listen to it? No, I didn't listen to it. I don't, I don't like, like that whole that whole, whole little like voice whatever. thing that she be using. I, I never mean, did. You don't like Ten Roman. personalities. Roman. I don't never like Roman. I never did. Split personality? But again, that's that's, that's women's business. I stay out of that. We got plenty of men topics that we can talk about other than Nikki Man. I merch. just wanted to say that. And we got merch coming Nikki out. Nikki tripping. Oh, yeah, we got merch coming. I actually like that piece of merch, too. That's fire. I always wondered why. I just got this today from Revenge. Shout out to Revenge. Sent me this in the mail. But uh, I got a cool story about this shirt. You guys want to hear that? You be there for that? Yeah. So, quick. I'm going to fire off this story real quick. Tangent right quick. Quick tangent. So, this here was <clears throat> this is shot. This is in Orlando, Florida. It's a real fight. So I was, at this time I was DJing for X, and so we had we had this show uh, in Orlando. But we was living in Orlando at the time in this little shitty ass apartment. And somebody, uh, it was like literally like an apartment that was like like all gutted out. There was nothing in it. Like the, <laughs> there was like no cabinets, nothing in there. Like the floors <laughs> were like ripped up, everything. And then like the one way or another, like, we got plugged in from, like, the apartment manager or somebody that was just like, yo, y'all can just stay in here for, like, just give me, like, 100 bucks or, like, 200 bucks a month or something, and y'all can just <laughs> oh stay God. in here. 
It was like nine of us in that bitch. Wow. It was like a two bedroom. It was like nine of us in that bitch, right? Yeah. Mobbed up in there. But at this time, bro, actually like running around a hill, like right around every single day. Our mission of the day was like, how many features can we book today or get today? So X was so he's just, already buzzing at this time. Buzzing, but he wasn't like the hottest thing in the streets. It, this I is before you. like he went to jail, look at me, blew up and all that. Gotcha. Before that. But definitely buzzing. So he's riding around. We riding around today trying to see how many features we can get. So X went and got this kid. This kid right here who's laying on the ground getting choked up. <laughs> Forgot his name, but he paid, <laughs> he a song with X. <laughs> he paid it. He paid this kid for. Uh, I mean, X paid this kid for a feature. Cool. So he paid him for a feature. I say maybe like three days goes by. Mm -hmm. Nothing major. Nothing crazy. Like three days goes by. Kids start looking for his feature. Like, yo, you finished with that yet? Yo, you done with it? Da da da. I think X left him on red one time. If my story is correct, I think X left him on red like one time. All right, cool. We still just picking up feature money. Still picking up feature money from different niggas. And then maybe like another day goes by. Like four days now. Four or five days. Kid hits us up like on some crazy shit. Like, nigga, you not gonna respond to me. I just paid you all this money, like five hundred for a feature. Like, where the fuck is my feature? Like, he starts talking greasy in the in the uh, mm -hmm. in the DMs. And so, X telling this nigga like, like bro, like just be patient. I remember he respectfully said some a response back to him like, bro, just be patient. It's on the way. Then maybe like a week goes by, and he still don't have his feature. This kid is dumb horny for this feature. Mm -hmm. Doesn't go by, and then he said some more greasy shit. So uh, I think X cussed him out, told him I see him when you see him, da 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 da, whatever, whatever, boom, bang it on. Let's say maybe like a week or two goes by, and then we get booked for a show. And it was at Uncle Lou's, never forget Shout it. Shout out Uncle Lou's. It was at Uncle Lou's. And so X was gonna be the headliner in the show though. So at Uncle Lou's, so cool, there's mad little rappers there at the show. So we pull up to the show, we pull up deep with all our people there. But we knew this kid was gonna be there. We knew this kid was gonna be there because his name was on the flyer. So we knew he was gonna be there. So we get to the show. I got my DJ equipment in my hand. I got my bag, I got all my shit. And we mob deep with like all these people. We get to the show like maybe like two hours before I was supposed to go on, which is really out, which is really out of the ordinary for us because we would just pull up when it's time for us to go on. Mm. So we pull up maybe like two hours early. We early. <laughs> early as fuck. So we pull up, bro. This kid is on stage performing. As soon as we walk through the door, that same kid, he's on stage performing. X goes up, walks through to everybody that was in the crowd, grabs the kid by his fucking shirt. Bro. No way. While he's performing? Right by his fucking shirt, both his hands. Bow, bow. Drug him out of fucking Uncle Lou's. Right? And drug him out of Uncle Lou's. He hasn't punched him yet, didn't do nothing in his kid yet. He just grabbed him by his shirt, bump, and drug him out of Uncle Lou's, out the front door. So now the whole concert is outside of Uncle Lou's. <laughs> That's the concert now. <laughs> so now this is the concert. Everybody that was there is now outside of Uncle Lou's. Now, one thing I will say about X is that he was never a bully. Okay, X whooped a lot of niggas' ass, but he was never a bully. Mm. He was more of a stand on business type of nigga, a stand on principles type of nigga. Mm. Like, so with that being said, they kind of made like a little circle for these boys to shoot the one. Because mm -hmm. he had a couple dudes with him too, I won't lie. Now we was deep, we probably had like 10 dudes with us. Mm -hmm. But he was he had a couple dudes with him too. So it could have been a brawl out there. But we all like politicked a little bit. We politicked outside for maybe two or three minutes. Everybody just agreed on terms. <laughs> yeah, agreed on terms and conditions. They made a little circle. And the boy shot the one. Now I will say this. This boy right here, whatever his name was, he was holding his own for a good little bit. He was holding it on. That was like a little nice little fair one. Yeah, <coughs> ended up, yeah, and ended up, he was getting, he ended up getting his ass whipped though. Yeah. Actually, yeah. ended up on top. Yeah. Ended up beating yeah. him and shit like that. And that, and then, then they get the cops calling us. Mm. So they caught, they call the cops. Some people are like, "Yo, cops are coming, cops are coming." So me and X, me and X started running. Just me and him. Mm. Everybody that was with us, we all scattered in different directions. But me and X start running towards. Behind Uncle Lou's to like a bunch of little houses back there. Yeah, I know, I know exactly. So we start running behind there, and so we duck down high in the creek. X pull out his phone. We call an Uber. Boom, we call an Uber. Called the Uber around the corner. We ran to the Uber. It was a Mercedes bit. I'll never forget. It was like the cleanest Mercedes ever that pulled up. Opened the door with the Mercedes logo shining and shit. <laughs> we hopped in the back of that shit. Head back to the apartment. <coughs> head back to the apartment. Everybody laughing, joking about what just happened and shit. Next bar, I go to sleep. I wake up the next morning, 
I, actually, X wakes, wakes me up at 7 in the morning. He got this habit of waking your ass up at 6, 7 in the morning. Wakes me up at like 7 in the morning. Like, bro, you got to listen to this. You got to listen to this. It's like five people in the room, six people in the room. Walk into the room. And then he plays me this song. Which is now Young Rats. So he's like, yo. Everybody, he's like, asking everybody, like, yo, should I drop this shit tomorrow? Should I drop this shit? Like, yeah, nigga, drop this shit today. You should drop this shit. I took a screenshot of the video from the fight. That was the picture of the fight. There you go. There you go. I wonder how he's doing now. That's how Young Rats is me. That same <laughs> night, I went to sleep. I never really saw him truly record a song. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen him like in the process of like recording a little shit. Mm -hmm. But he's the type of nigga to record music at like four in the morning, five in the morning. Everybody like at ungodly hours. It's like some black magic shit. While you're asleep, he's up recording music. Wakes you up. Wakes you up at seven in the morning. That's why I'm like, he'll wake you up dumb early in the morning. Just and be like, listen to this. Yeah, that's crazy. Listen to this. And so, boom, now you got Young Brass. And that's how Young Brass was made. He just made that song that night. Wake up and down. It's like one of the most viral songs ever now. But yeah. Shit was dope. Do we get general here? <coughs> huh? Do you think we get general here? On the pod? Sure. She, she, wanna, yeah. she wants to come on the pod. She wants to come on the pod. We'll make it happen. I asked her recently. She's like, yeah, I'm with it. You know, it's like my twin. She still hasn't even met my daughter. She hasn't? Mm -hmm. Most, a lot of my friends haven't met my daughter, I to be honest That's a protected thing, bro. I a lot yeah, of my friends sure. haven't met my daughter. It's my, my, We're going to make it happen. But yeah, uh, that was our internal pod. I mean, do you guys have anything else y'all want to get off your chest before we did? No. <clears throat> no. It'll be like another week or so before we get back. Last last minute, uh, Super uh, Super Bowl predictions. I'm gonna hold you to it. Uh, Chiefs, 49ers. There's more money in the 49ers winning and and Vegas taking everyone else's money. Conspiracy. Then, because the Taylor thing can't be multiple seasons. It's a one season thing. The stories it has to be whatever done. Whatever the team Trevor Kelsey is on, uh, that's the team that's Trevor on. Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, him. And I do, I do, I do think that he that that he's gonna propose to her too. I think so for sure. I think what? so too. But yeah, that if was they the lose, out. he'll do it at the at the hotel room afterwards. That was the Out East podcast. What? It's you episode you, you, twenty six. You think he will? We'll get the fuck up out of here. We'll catch y'all in uh, episode twenty seven. Bye. Peace. Bye.